Not again! Do you remember that house on the bus route home from college that had like five different bricks in its front wall? Because it had so many car crashes into it because it was on a really bad corner. <laughs> and they had, you could see each re-bricking attempt of their wall. And then didn't someone crash into it again? While Probably. we were at college, and it fell over again. <laughs> Do you remember the college bus? <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, that bus Honestly. Crashed. What a time. Why are there loads of little small ones at the top? That's what? adorable. All the little <laughs> tiny ones at the top, the little tiny tanks. How the fuck do you make <laughs> garments there? It must be connected to something else. Box <laughs> factory! It's the box fit. Ice cube factory! Ice cube factory! Frank's fish stick factory! What are you doing I here? They must be connected under the road to... Yeah. So it's genius. So basically, you buy a really small property here, and then you buy one of these storage tanks. And, and then you just pump it. Yeah. We plumb it in for you. We only have to tear up the road every day when people inevitably move out because of the horrendous pollution. More the traffic, I'd say. Why is the What? 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 We're a busy town! Nice. 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 Uh, oh, I, I was talking about I was going to talk about it and I forgot. Good. Wow, oh, yeah. My only hard. assumption with those guys is that we were being weirdly loud. I, well, when well I, okay. When I say we, I mean I was being obnoxious and loud because that's normally what I do. The Those people I knew, they went because they went to my secondary school. Yeah. Uh, they had this game that they would play um, when they were walking down this path between the uh, sports hall and the rest of the school that they would push one another into uh, someone walking past the other way, uh, which was really fucking annoying if you were walking past the other way because uh, occasionally you'd just get a greasy-haired uh, twat. No hard feelings walk right fucking into you and so we all developed this instinctive power that you know everyone had within a short while to when they were walking past put an elbow out um so that when they pushed one another onto you uh, they would smack their chin right into your elbow and then get very angry and threaten to report you to the uh like school but little did they know that no one's buying their shit. Everyone knew they were doing it, even the teachers. If they try and report you for, like, hitting them in the chin with their elbow, they'll go, Did you try and push your friend into them? And they'll go, Uh... You know. It was just kind of like one of those things that they did, and everyone knew, and... I remember... What was it called? Everyone hated them. It was like learning support. I can say my school, because... So, a uh, year after I left my school, it got shut down by Ofsted. Yeah. So, everything you hear will say bad about his school. Remember, his school still exists. And mine got shut down by Ofsted. So, <laughs> like, everything he says bad. Mine was uh, couldn't do any of that because it was so mismanaged. They couldn't pull themselves together to waste £2 million because it was so mismanaged and underfunded. <laughs> well, one, one was mismanaged. One was just horrible to fucking be in. Like, I'm sure yours was also horrible, but the fact that mine was managed well didn't mean it wasn't awful for the students. Oh, mine was awful for the students. It, yeah, well, it's I'm just sure that. The, his management was way more prevalent. In the last year I was there, they introduced something called uh, positive discipline. So we got these... The year before, they'd introduced comment cards. So if they found you with your shirt and talked or if you didn't have a pen, the teacher go, I'm going to write on your comment card. And they'd write on your comment card. And if you got a lunchtime detention, if you filled up your comment card, right? Positive discipline. They get... Are you all right there? Yeah. Sorry. I think we had something like that. I'm trying to remember. Well, in the last year, they introduced this system. They gave us a planner. And on one half was a blank page. And all the teachers had the Wickle stamp. And if you, if you answered a good question or if you did something right, they'd give you a Wickle stamp. And if you got enough stamps, you could, like, trade them in for, like, an eraser or a pen or, um, I think there was, like, a £20 voucher, but you literally had to get, like, 20,000 stamps or something ridiculous. It was, it was the, like, you could get real money, but no one would ever get enough stamps to do it. 
Um, and on the other side was this like seven row of comments. If you got three comments, so say you you're, you forgot a pen one day, and all your teachers wrote in. I think it might have been five comments actually, and all your teachers wrote, there were five lessons a day, and all your teachers wrote a comment in. You'd get an after school detention. And so, um, that was the reason I did more detentions in my last year than I did the entire rest of my time at that school. Because, <laughs> uh, they introduced that weird-ass system. Like, when I first went there, they had merits and referrals. Yeah. So if you got a merit, you did a good thing. And if you got a referral, the merits were like a little A5 and it was like, well done. And if you got a referral, it was a big A4 thing. It's like, you get a detention. Or, like, your shit. Um, th and that went well. And then in the last year, they did this. And everyone was like, this is quite harsh. And they were like, eh. <laughs> and also, what was great, at the end of the year, the teachers just gave... Like, they would be like, yeah, you all get 10 stamps for showing up. It was like, all the teachers just gave so many stamps out. And they didn't, they had to literally stamp your planner 10 times. Yeah. And my, my book would just get filled with stamps and it would be like, I haven't done any, I was really bad in my last year. My last year was when I started to get my bad streak, which I had for like three or two or three years in college and secondary school. Dog. 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 Sorry. Dog. But that, that was, that's, and then the next year it got shut down. What else said? Don't know why. I can't imagine why. Oh, also, it wasn't just an hour-long after-school detention. It was an hour-long after-school detention in isolation. So you'd get a... Oh, how big was it? It was about, uh, like, this big. You can. How big is that, would you say? Like, half a meter? Yeah. Bearing in mind, I was 16 when I could do this and touch the sides. 50 when I could do this and touch the sides. So about half a meter. You got half a meter little chair where you could sit and look at the wall. And, like, do some homework or whatever. I just read a book by Dave Gorman whenever I got got that in secondary. Are you building a crack? Are you building an uwu face? Why have you built an uwu face? We don't have like, that much money. We've got 22 grand. Yeah, not enough for an uwu face in concrete. This is the kind of shit your school did and you got angry at them for. <laughs> You doing all right there? Normally I just kind of leave the gameplay up to you. And you seem to have built an uwu face. Cherry trees. Cherry trees. They're not cherry trees. What are they? I don't fucking know trees, man. No, I'm getting rid of the uwu face. No uwu. Just gonna have to smile <laughs> face. <laughs> Ooh. No uwu. No more happiness. What was that? Why did you do that? The problem is, right? Don't uh, judge me. I guess we'll have to build off the other side because we've nearly reached the end of the... I am kind of disappointed that you built an extra path onto the... onto the. Um... Yeah, but it's also dirt. Yeah, but it makes it easier. You don't have to drive as much. You should have had it go down. Can you see the gap between them? One way... Go... No, not one way. But go all the way down and around. So you oh. can see it when you, you pull on. not want to live here. No, God, no. This fucking suburb here, right? To be honest, though, the, right the parking is much better there than here. I'm building this little suburb next to the river with, like, the intention of being, like, a little bit nicer. But you got to go past the industrial section so fucking close. Also, right this is all Right next to the polluted way. river. Right next to the fucking, like... Wind turbines. That shit's loud, man. You know? Here, you get a two way road just crossing the T here. That's awful still. That's like, that's like, that's the one way system where we used to live. Really, isn't it? I mean. You can show loud. I don't want to. Why? Because. No no recognition should be given to that place. What all about? Nothing. It's quite nice. Apart from all the drugs and the suicide. There's not that much suicide. 
surprisingly. Mostly drugs. Mostly drugs. And just Jubilee Crescent in general. And stabbings, a lot of stabbings. There were like five stabbings in the last couple of years we were there. And a uh, armed robbery at a Jubilee Straw. Which is weird. That was beforehand. It was weird, though. That seems like too high crime, you know? Yeah, they had like three police choppers out over all the schools because they're on each corner of the elder care. Elder care. Are you elder? We will care for you. Elder care. You know what I'm going to do? Just because that's bothering me, I'm going to build a road to there so that the hospital can actually reach these people. <laughs> bugging me. Why? Because <laughs> I'm not naturally a sinner. I am. Oh. Damn. Damn you! Damn, Daniel. Oh, fuck off with that fucking meme. Remember, God. remember 2016? That meme can go eat hot chip and die. What's wrong with it? Nothing wrong with damn Daniel. Damn Daniel! <laughs> Back get it again with the white shoes! White vans, get it right. He had two white vans on his feet. They had free candy written on. I remember that fucking meme. I could not escape it. I hated it. I hate it. Still. I Awful. barely saw any of it. Awful. Awful fucking meme. Zero out of ten. Right. <laughs> and with that, it is midnight, so I think... Is it midnight? Yeah. Ah. We'll call Dedruv there for the day. Thank you for joining us on this first round of episodes. Good luck editing anything interesting out of that. We were just talking about schools for half of it. That's kind of the point. Bye!